Okay, I just wanted to show off the Intel RealSense SDK and some of the examples I provided with it. Um, there's a couple that are kind of cool for, uh, for VR, so um, here it is. So this is a, um, a motion motion viewer, so it just uses computer vision to, to see my head and I can tell if I'm sad, happy or sad. You can see here it says positive, kind of which emotion, it says anger negative, sadness, I can kind of work out if I'm happy or sad, basically. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work when you put the rift on. You can see the red boxes when it can actually detect my face. And then even if I just put it over like this, it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, it definitely doesn't. You won't see a red, red box, which kind of sucks. Um, it'd be cool for um, social VR stuff if you could have your, uh, if you could have your mouth in the in the game. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so I might play around with something to try and get that working, but. Uh, Gonna show you the uh, what is this one? Um, the head tracking or the yeah head tracking uh, Unity example they give you. And this is actually pretty cool. So it tracks your head and your facial movements. So I can put up a camera and there you go. There you can see me. You see the girl. So it tracks my head. If I move slowly, it's pr it's not not too durable. But I can kind of track my head side to side. Um, I just realize it does my eyes as well. It's pretty cool. So if I'm looking to the right, looking to the left. Um, and mouth obviously happy so I kind of like the face shift stuff um, and eyes <laughs> but again this kind of stops working once you put the rift on It's not tracking. Okay, um, what else we got here? Uh, it also, they have an example of hands. It's not that good, I'll just show you quickly. Um, it's definitely worse than the Rift from what I've seen. Oh, sorry, definitely worse than uh, Leap Motion. But, uh, yeah, kind of struggles if I put my, my hands are uh, uh, perpendicular with the camera right now and it really really freaks out and if I make fists it really freaks out so um, I can't really see myself using this for anything um, what else is there it's pretty much it there's also a uh, I guess there's a, a point cloud they overlay overlay the uh, depth and image streams For some reason, this doesn't look very good either. I think there's a difference in the, either the resolution of the field of view of the, uh, I guess the resolution of the depth and camera, so you can kind of see my eyes right there at the bottom. It's like repeating the the color, but um, yeah, so you can kind of see me, in and that would be in in depth if you were wearing the Oculus. Um, what else is there? They're pretty much the coolest things. There's a couple little games that they try and use hand tracking to, but the hand tracking just isn't good enough to do, to use for anything that I found. There's voice recognition as well, and it's just kind of standard voice recognition that I'm sure you've seen before. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, we're gonna try and make, we're gonna try and adapt that uh, that mesh like we've been doing at uh, at Converge um, to try and do the mesh, but high quality and. Uh, streaming over the internet, that's uh, going to be our application for the, the real sense competition. And that's that's why we have the camera. It's uh, Intel's running a competition um, to see who can make the cool stuff with it. And I guess I can just show you the streams to finish up. So everybody's seen the, the color. 
Um, and oops, and this is the infrared that it's seeing, and then the depth. These are the three streams it gives developers. It's definitely not as far like definitely not as far back as the Connect goes. Um, the Connect kind of is a whole living room, and this is this is more like the the leap. Um, but you can go really close to it, which is different to the Connect. The Connect only can't go within like a foot of it. This one you can kind of go within a couple centimeters to back to like a, a meter and a half. Um, yeah, so that's it.